Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Today we're going to be watching a video by the kickoff True Geordie's YouTube channel where he talks about, um, discusses Bukayo Saka and the recent comments Rio Ferdinand had on him. Um, and why is Rio Ferdinand making these uh, outrageous comments is because he's trying to gain fame and attention because he understands that the true currency in today's society is fame. And um, the more attention you can amass, the more fame you can amass, the more money you can make. And the more money you have, the more you'll be seen as a king in today's online space. Even these people that you have uh, on the table uh, on the kickoff, why are they there? Because they are all YouTube personalities. Why did they decide to become YouTube personalities? Because there's a lot of money in it, because they understand that the more fame they can amass, the more uh, they'll be seen as a king. They'll be able to have the best opportunities that life has to offer. And we live in a time where AI is coming, uh, is going to replace you and your job. You won't be able to work and earn a living anymore. You won't be able to um, gather resources, amass resources. You won't be able to live the life of a king. They're just going to plug you into the metaverse and leave you to rot while the elites get to enjoy life. I say, fuck all that. I want you to become an elite. I want you to build a kingdom. I want you to rise to the top because good people like you deserve to lead the change in the world, to lead humanity to a better phase of civilization. Uh, I want you to usher in the next evolution of humanity because, you know, can you trust the people who are in charge? Can you trust the elites who, whatever agenda they have, you know, whether they want to feed you uh, fake meat, whether they want to track you and ID you and jab you for all eternity, um, they want to take away your freedoms. They don't want you to win. Um, if you understand the next phase that's coming, the dystopian future that's ahead, the only way to protect yourself is from is to build your own kingdom to be a king. I'm looking for 100 people who are willing to build a kingdom, who have the um, confidence and willingness to put their balls on the line to do this because it's the last opportunity that you have. Um if you don't do this now, you will forever fade away and fizzle out, be sexless, have no no friends, no no one to love. And for the rest of your turn, you'll be watching these people talking about football online. Saka versus Ronaldo went up on social media the other day on Sky Sports. They did a comparison of the first 210 appearances with Saka getting 51 goals, Ronaldo getting... And think about it. Like, what, what is it so special that these people are doing? He's just sitting there on his phone reading off uh, captions. Okay. Like, look, look he, he, he's not even like he's talking off the top of his head. He's literally reading it off his phone. All right. He's got, he's got the script written down and he's just talking off it. Can't you do that? Aren't you willing to make the amount of money that this guy is making? Right. And he's already been cancelled like two, three times. Right. Like, because he said some silly little things. Uh, but he keeps coming back. Why does he keep coming back? Because it, you make a lot of money doing this. And if you make a lot of money, you get a lot of pussy that way. All right? Like, it, it's just how it works. 50, Saka has 49 assists. Ronaldo had 43. Um, so a combined goals and assists of 100 for Saka versus 93 of Ronaldo. Obviously, no one around this table expects Saka to go on and have the career of Ronaldo. However, Rio Ferdinand was comparing Saka and Phil Foden mm. and has said he thinks Foden is the better footballer. What do you reckon, lads? I mean, what, it doesn't matter whether he's a better footballer or not. It's like, why, why is Rio Ferdinand talking about this? Do you get what I mean? Rio Ferdinand is already a multimillionaire. He's already um, had a great career. He's a United legend in his own right. Um, it's won the Champions League. Why is he speaking on whether... Saka is better than Foden um, because he knows it will piss off a lot of Arsenal fans and Arsenal fans are some of the most um, engaged fan base online. <laughs> they, um, He's literally just trying to create headlines because you know he knows the headline for the next couple of weeks will be Rio Ferdinand said this. He's going to get people talking about it. These people are talking about Rio Ferdinand making these comments and then 
what happens? It just increases Rio Ferdinand's stock. Okay, then he's able to get all these gigs on um, on Sky Sports, wherever to do punditry, because he knows because they know. Oh, if Rio Ferdinand, we have Rio Ferdinand, a lot of people search for him online. That will boost our ratings because even these TV channels are, are um, in competition with uh, YouTubers and people who have online presences. Do you want me to go? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, mate, I, I, that one in particular wound me up so much. The 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 Saka Foden thing. I think it's like compare. I mean, even even his his words that he's using it, it wound him up, right? So so Rio Ferdinand said he just makes a comment, and it has this visceral effect on this guy. I don't know who the fuck he is, um, <clears throat> but it, it it clearly had an effect on him where he goes, "Oh, it really wound me up." Right. Why is he why is he on, on True Geordie's show? He's trying to become famous. He's trying to be a famous pundit, whatever he's trying to do. And um, because he understands that that's the only way that he's going to get any pussy, that he's only going to make any money. AI is going to take whatever job he had before. He's got no other hope. Uh, the only thing that's left for him to do is to go on his show and talk about footballers and their outlandish opinions, which they're doing to gain more fame and traction their way. And a kid who went to private school to a kid who grew up on a council estate because Phil Foden has eaten caviar for a few years. He's been rotated in and out of the best team on the planet. He gets to play with the best players in the world. Meanwhile, Bakayo Saka has put Arsenal on his back and drag us from eighth place to being second in the league. Sa- Couldn't you do this? Couldn't you go onto the show and have make statements like this guy's doing and get paid for it, right? Like, while you're consuming this content, like, his stock is rising, okay? Like, literally, your know, people are going to be like, yeah, like, you know, Arsenal fans, right, if, if you support Arsenal, you're, like, this guy, you know, he, he's your cheerleader, right? So you have all these people who are Arsenal fans now are going to be happy about the guy in the white t-shirt saying all these beautiful things about Bakai Saka, about um, Arsenal, right? So, so, so naturally, now, he's just sending out a bat signal to Arsenal fans saying, like, look, I represent you, Arsenal fans, right? Come to me. It's the same thing that I'm doing, right? Like, I'm here, I'm sending out my bat signal, but my bat signal is for people who understand what I'm doing about the tough times that are coming ahead, about the only thing that is left for uh, for you to do is to become a king and have a kingdom because everyone else is going to get absolutely decimated Right, you're gonna live in poverty. You're not gonna be able to earn any money. You're not gonna have any jobs. You're not gonna have any hobbies. All you're gonna do is they're gonna plug you into the metaverse. They're gonna force feed you uh, their Disney bullshit agenda that they have, um, whatever woke criteria it meets. Um, you won't be able to date anyone. You won't be able to have any friends. You won't be able to go anywhere without being tracked. Um, they're gonna put a limit and a cap on how much you can food you can consume very soon. Uh, there could be no more holidays, you know, no more fun trips. You're just gonna be sitting there watching this guy talk about Arsenal, right? And 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 each club's got his own little clown like this guy, right? Like that like they're all that you know, whatever, like True Joy Sports, what Newcastle? Uh, you you have all the people from the club, uh, you know, the the usurpers, <laughs> the people who who threw uh, True Joy under the bus, started their own channel, right? But why did they start their own channel? Because they understood that. Oh, like that's that's how we uh, rise to the top. That's how we keep making money, right? It's the it's the only way you can get to freedom is to amass resource and fame at the same time, right? And the more fame you have, the more money you can make. The more money you have, the more fame it helps you build more fame, right? And it's just this ever ending cycle. It's like you have the richest person in the world, Elon Musk, yet he's in the news every other day. Why? Because he understands that you have to become famous in today's society. You have to keep amassing fame. You have to keep building your kingdom. Fame is um, is, is a psychological kingdom. Fame is uh, resides in the people's mind, right? Because you can be an unknown and then nobody knows who you are and then you don't have any mental real estate in anybody's head, right? But if people know who you are, right, and the more, right, re- like Rio Ferdinand just keeps shouting out these outlandish claims, I think he done another one like recently where he's talking about um how uh Mikel Arteta would jump at the chance to manage United. He he knows that's not true, but he's saying it to stay relevant, right? And I'm sure I'm sure in the back there's some sort of project, like he's probably uh plugging his podcast or some shit. Um, because that's the that's the last thing, that's the only thing that's left, right? AI can't replicate this yet. Okay. However, right, 
it will be able to soon because AI is becoming more strong guys becoming um, it's, it's learning very quickly how to make itself more efficient, how to make itself more human like and what, and they, there'll come a time and place where it can do a human's job much better than a human can until then, this is your last chance to get in and start building a following. So you can take over from this guy and um, where is he? Yeah. This guy here. So you can take a, take over from him. So you'll get the money that is, that's going to him should be going to you because played a lot of games at left back in the, in the games you were talking about to, to get better numbers than Cristiano Ronaldo that actually makes those numbers even more impressive it, it, yeah. Yeah. Where is, exactly. has Jacob just admitted that Arsenal shit because that's well, what they it were, sounded like they were I've yeah. just admitted that we <laughs> I mean, is is this profound punditry? Is this uh, are they are they've got very intelligent hot takes? None of them makes players, right? None of them ever played the game at a high level, right? They probably never even played the game at a low level. They all look out of shape. They all look fat. Um, they all look like losers. Yet they're making loads of money because people like you are watching them, right? Like you need to wake up. It's like look, like why are they doing it? Because it's very important for you to make a lot of money online. Right, it's very important for you to be relevant online, okay? And it should be you in that place instead of that those idiots, okay? Now, if your if your passion in life is football, I suggest you become a subject matter expert in football. You 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 make better content than what these guys make. Yeah, they just do clickbaity shit. Um, instead of doing that, right, become a true expert where you are seen as the like no competition that you are the most important, most well-respected um, authority in that space, right? And it, it can be football, it can be whatever sport, it can be whatever is your passion, music, whatever subject is of interest to you, physics, biology, wherever it is. Uh, but if you become the sole subject matter expert, the authority in that subject, and you're able to communicate that online, you're able to be charismatic on camera, which I can help you with, you know, if you reach out to me um, and we can we can make sure that you become someone who is seen as charismatic, be someone who is seen as important online, start building your own following, start, you know, building that kingdom, uh, then, you know, you'll be able to make a lot of money. And once you have a lot of money, once you have a lot of fame, once you have a lot of status, you'll be seen as a king. And once you're seen as a king, you'll have the easiest and best opportunities in life. Um, all the dating opportunities, women will be lining up to date you. Um, everybody will want to be your friend. Everybody would want to listen to what you have to say. You'll be well respected. The best opportun opportunities that you know normal, average people don't ever get access to. You you'll get access to it, yeah, because people will see. Uh, what you're all about, that you're able to accumulate a big fan base, that you people respect you. And because people respect you, you'll be well respected uh, by other famous people. The worst yet. Yeah. <laughs> and, now, and, and now we're at a point where at the start of this season, the bookies had us four favourites for the Champions League. And all of that is down to Bukayo Saka. I, I genuinely would put it that high. high like, well, but, 100%. Well, not 100 Mate, him and Arteta? Okay. Honestly, I, I think, honestly, you, you could take anyone else out. You take him or Arteta out. We do not do what we've done in the past five years. No. Saka, Saka is an unbelievable footballer and there is no reason he can't go to those Cristiano Ronaldo levels if he's managed properly. The one caveat, wow. I, the one caveat I always give with Saka is the comparison that really frightens me is Raheem Sterling. Because Raheem Sterling wasn't... I mean, even... Um, like all these footballers, like like, like Saka, like he he is, you know, they I think they call him Star Boy. He is Boy Wonder. He is he he is a future king of Arsenal. He is already a king of Arsenal. He's the crown prince of Arsenal, um, and that's why he's getting all, that a whole segment on the show. That's why people are talking about him. You know, they're not talking about the random person in the academy who's got a lot of talent. Is no, they're talking about the person who's the most famous in the team. Um, you know, in and in today's society, you don't even have to be have a special talent. You just have to be, have the ability to express charisma, right? And that is a talent in itself, right? Like that is a, a big talent, but it's something that's very teachable. It's something very um, learnable. Something that you practice and you just get better and better at, right? Like if you if you want to have the ability to to be very charismatic, get paid for the ability to speak. Um, then I suggest you go to Royal Instinct, uh, sign up to the coaching, and then we can work on getting you to be 
um, a future king so we can start building your kingdom so you can have the best opportunities instead of this guy. He wasn't those levels, but he was doing not far off numbers at that age. He was overplayed. And now Raheem Sterling is not even 30 years old and he looks ready for the MLS. So we, we've got to be careful how we manage Saka. But just based on those numbers alone, why can't he go to Ronaldo? Do you think, and I, I'm speaking for you, Ferdinand, I don't know what, but I, I think sometimes when you watch Phil Foden, there's a beauty of the way he plays the game. There's that like silky little touch and he's got a very good football brain on him. And I At the end, it's like if, if Phil Foden um, doesn't build his own kingdom in his own right, right? Like he's collecting a lot of trophies uh, at Man City. He's collecting a lot of um, a lot of money. Um, but if people see Saka achieving greater things, right? L like he's saying, um, he's single-handedly the most important player in the Arsenal team, right? That already puts his rank higher than Phil Foden's because um, at Man City is obviously Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri, and Haaland who are the most important players on the team. So, it, it, it you know, it, even money isn't. Um, that important, right? Because all these people already have a lot of money, yet th yet they're still trying to garner fame. They're still trying to um build their own kingdoms, right? Because they realize the more the more fame I have, the more money I can attract. Okay. I think with uh, Saka, it, he looks more of a, an efficient player who doesn't have quite as it's it's not as pretty, but it's more effective. Do you know what I mean for me? I see enough pretty stuff, man. I right. see I see goals from outside the box. I'm comparing him to Foden. I'm not saying he doesn't. Yeah, play. yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think I think he does everything that Foden does as well. Mm. I, th I, think, it, I think we would. Be, it wouldn't be as much of a conversation as what it is. I think not that Foden isn't a great player. Yes, but Harland, mate. I see Saka going to City one day, and I know that now the the, the way that the sort of competitiveness in the Premier League. Right, no, no. I'm being I'm being honest here. Like, look, I'm sick again. I, it might be. It might. I mean, like, like these guys are just making random claims. Like, oh, Saka's gonna play for Man City one day. Like, and 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 they're making a bunch of money off off these stupid claims, right? Like, they're they're not they're not even saying anything profound. They're not saying anything special. They're just making random claims every week. You're watching them, right? They're amassing clicks. They're amassing views. They're amassing sponsorship deals and money. And you're sat at home, you know, wasting your resources. Like attention is the last thing that's left, right? It's the last thing humans have because BlackRock is taking all your, all your properties, right? Like um, you won't be able to own a house anymore because, you know, interest rates are going to keep getting put up you won't be able to survive buy food you won't be able to really do anything in this world right the last thing that's left and if you understand how important it is you'll be you'll be fucking biting my hand off to understand the the way to do this okay the last thing that's left for you to do if you want to be seen as a king if you want to live a rural lifestyle is for you to start amassing fame climbing to the top and building your own kingdom. Um, if you don't want to do it, then fine. Then you can carry on watching these losers talking about Phil Foden and Bukai Saka. Well, well, Bukai Saka is never going to think twice about you. Do you know what I mean? He's like, he's counting his cash. He's, he's living his good life. He's, uh, he's building his legend while you you remain a nobody. Like even think about it, even true Geordie. Who's, who's had fucking mass scandals, right? He's an Islamophobe, right? He's still, he's still doing this shit. He's still making content because he understands how important it is, you know, and he's he's going to make the money. If, if you don't do it, if you don't step up, he's going to take all the money. Might be shades of Arsenal from the past, but a lot of your best players were going there at one point. And I look at now, you know, the way that the Premier League and the way that Arsenal have caught up with Man City, it maybe makes that less likely. But I see Saka getting a big move. I don't actually always see him staying at Arsenal. When we look at the importance and the impact to a team, right, and this is the comparison between Foden, if you take Foden out of that City team and you swap him for another member of the team that they've got, not someone hypothetically that could come in, just, you know, Bernardo Silva or someone like that, do they still win the treble? I think there's a strong chance they do, you know? Mate, they do. If you take Saka out of the Arsenal team, who, who, who's the backup in there? What's he saying that's profound? He, he's just saying, he's talking about swapping a few players around and, and, and this is what he gets paid for. Can't you do that? 
Let's, let's say you stuck Trossard Reece there. Nelson. Let's say you stuck <laughs> Reece Nelson there. Do they come anywhere near achieving what they have done in the last couple of seasons? They come nowhere near. Well, Absolutely can, nowhere can near. I, can I ask you a question on that one then, Joey? Say uh, four or five years ago, rather than... Again. Man City. Oh, oh, yeah. no. In terms of the way he plays football, in terms of the way he collaborates, just <laughs> stop brutal, looking at me it? like that, man. It kills me. The one, the one good thing is, I know who his dad supports and it's Newcastle. So. He's Paul, a clutch player. Where, yeah. and he scores a lot of first goals as well. Yeah. Not first goal, first assist. He exactly. breaks games open. I, look, if I'm being really honest. Can you compare him to those players that are in there? Like, is there anyone who, in history, you would look at and go, that. I mean, it's been 10 minutes and they're still talking about Bukaya Saka. Right, they're not talking about themselves, right? Like it's not that they're living interesting lives. They're just talking about another football player, right? Can't you do that? Can't you start a fucking YouTube channel where you talk about your favorite club, your favorite players, and you have these wild takes and start amassing, right? Can't you have better takes, more interesting takes, right? They're just talking about random hypotheticals that nobody gives a fuck about, you know? Can't you do some in-depth analysis? Can't you? have just a better opinion than these people, right? Because they're going to end up making all the money. They're going to end up having all the opportunities if you don't do this. AI is here, you guys. Do you get what I mean? Like, I mean, it's if you haven't realized that the invaders, right, the the end of the world, the nuclear bomb that's going to go off, it's it's AI. AI is coming. It's going to displace everybody's jobs, okay? The only jobs that will be left is OnlyFans girls, drug dealers, and content creators, okay? Now, unless you want to be showing your arsehole on, on OnlyFans, uh, unless you want to, you know, be you know, a piece of shit, scum, <laughs> and sell sell a little bit of cocaine, yeah? Maybe maybe you should sell cocaine. Maybe you should. Maybe maybe it'd be, it'd be more of a fun life than, than than sitting at home and just being plugged into a metaverse, right? Fraud fraud won't really work in the future. Fraud is really on its way out because t- technology be too too clever to track it like AI will be able to track you doing fraud maybe maybe you can get away selling a little bit of H you know a little bit a little bit of Charlie right on the side on Friday night do you get what I mean that's the only thing that's left right is it's drug dealers and content creators right and if you want to go down the x-rated route you can show your arsehole on OnlyFans if you want to be well respected if you want to uh, be seen as kingly as a king build your kingdom then I suggest you become a subject matter expert Go to royalinstinct.com where you can work with me to build your kingdom, to make you as famous as possible, to be seen as an expert in your field. And we can then make sure you rise to the top, get to the top, overthrow the current leaders. Because you can't trust those people. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, th- there are no more real leaders left in the world. You know, that- that's why I'm-, I'm looking for 100 people that I can help, you know, bring out their leadership qualities. I can help them be be a leader, right? Because the world needs them, right? You and your fan base that you're going to amass, you're going to have to take them, lead them to a better future, a better tomorrow. You're going to have to give them good advice. Um, and hopefully you're a good person and, and takes this role seriously. Um, a lot of people, they're not going to make it in the next few years, right? They're going to be... Um, things are going to get too expensive. They're not going to be able to afford food. They're not going to be able to afford any places to stay, uh, any rent. They're not going to have their own house. Uh, they're, they're pretty much fucked. And, and nobody realizes this. People are asleep. If you are, you know, if you have any consciousness in your head, if you are alive, if you understand what's happening, if you have a two, if you have a few working brain cells, you, you get what's happening. Um, then the only, you understand the only thing that's left for you to do is to become famous and build your kingdom. Uh, because the people who don't do that are truly and truly fucked. It's a guy who I think you can have a career comparable to. <sighs> the, the thing is with Ronaldo and Messi, I'm not sure anyone in Europe can reach that level. Ever. Because I, 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 th- I think we might look back in 20 years' time and go, there was no one who superseded that, right? Mate, I'm looking at Mbappe and fucking Haaland and think they won't touch those guys. I, I, look, at, I look at a player like Hazard. I, th- I think Saka will reach that level. Do you look- rate him at prime bail level right now? Was, right now, right, like, like he just he just acts like that was like, yeah. You know, he asked him to to answer a philosophical question like, "What the fuck's the meaning of life?" And he's like, "Oh, he's asking me if if a player is good like uh, Bukayo Saka is as good as Gareth Bale in his prime." Like, obviously not, because Bukayo Saka 
has nowhere near reached those levels yet. But it doesn't fucking matter, right? It, it's just a fucking football player. People, people kill themselves over sports. It's and it's all a distraction, right? Like you, you, you're literally, right? You're being distracted, and you might say, turn around to me and say, like, oh, but you know, this sport's my passion. Football's my passion. I love it. Great. Okay. Make a little bit of coin off the back of your passion. Make a little bit of paper off the back of your passion, right? Amass immense wealth like these guys are doing. Become famous as fuck like these guys are doing. This should be you in that seat, not this guy in... Do you know what I mean? Like, like he, he's making all this money and he's wearing this shitty little Fred Perry white T-shirt. Wear something nicer. Do you know what I mean? Like, like... Add a little bit of colour to your life. Now, no. What was Bale doing at 22? Bale didn't look as good at Sackler at 22, no. I, what, I, I, what, what, that, was, what was Mo Salah doing at 22? Yeah, exactly. There's okay. there's a lot of players who weren't doing anything like this mm. at 22. They, like, Saka will still get better. But, but then you can use a lot of examples of the guys that were doing it at 22, but then... Yeah, they're, they're just talking hypotheticals, guys. Like, oh... There's people who weren't doing nothing at 22, but Saka is. And there's a lot of players who had really good careers earlier on at uh, when they were younger and then faded away due to injury. Yeah, it's just how the fucking sport works. Like, literally, they're just, they're just talking about the same fucking topic over and over again. And retards are tuning in, watching it, thinking, oh, yeah, this is really profound. This is really good, in- entertaining information. And it's like, it, it's fuck all. It, it, it adds no value to your life. It adds no relevance. And if you enjoy it, it should be you talking about it. This is literally like a fucking group of people in a pub, like throw a mic in the face and it would be the same thing. But but these people were savvy enough to jump online. They had the balls to start speaking into mic to, to make content. And now they're reaping the rewards, right? They're going to make all the money. They're going to make all the... They're going to fuck all the women that you should, you should be fucking and um, living the life that you should be living. And and you're getting fuck all out of this. Weren't doing it as late as the other yeah, guys. Sure, sure. Now, I, I, not I, everyone's going to have that long. We, we use Raheem Sterling as an example earlier on. Michael Owen. I think Michael Owen. And, and, and the, the difference there is Michael Owen was hampered by injuries. I'm not saying Raheem Sterling hasn't had them, but I think that, forget Man City Sterling, I think that when Brendan Rodgers is playing Sterling left wing and he's tearing it up for Liverpool, I think we're looking at him and going, mate, what's he going to be like when he's 28? And I don't think we're looking at what he yeah, is but like it, now. Yeah, question about Eden Hazard, because you two watched him very yeah. closely. Can Saka match Eden Hazard? I mean, like, what relevance has this got to do with anything in the world, right? Like, you, you're you, literally, like, in the world, yeah, you're going to end up jobless, right? You're about to be jobless. AI is about to take your, your, your job from you, right? There's only a few people AI people won't affect, but you watching most likely will. So, so there's no future... There's no career, future prospects for you, right? Right. Instead, you're watching these people, right, talk about nonsense, and you've got hundred percent, right. If I worked with you, we can we could get a thousand times better ideas than what these guys have. Okay, that's my that's my special talent in the world. I'm, I'm able to reach inside someone's mind, grab their talent out of them, and extrapolate it and put it out into the world for them. Right. I can help them. I can coach them do that. Right. These people aren't charismatic. They're, they're really boring, okay? Like, and it'd be very easy for me to teach you how to be charismatic, and then it'll be you in that chair. It'll be you having, you know, the interesting take on whether Saka's as good as Raheem Sterling was, right? It could be you, right? But it's a decision that you have to make. It's like, you know, you're going to have to put your balls on the line. You're going to have to take that step into the unknown. And you, you might think, oh, I, I'm too scared to put myself online. But it's like... All right, like you, you can stay scared or, or you, you, you can go hungry and sexless for the rest of your life. Just think about like, you know, even if you are getting pussy right now, like, you know, is, is the girl that you're fucking hot? Right? Probably not. Probably not because hot girls are not fucking people who watch the kickoff. The people on the kickoff might be fucking those girls. In importance to a team, possibly. But he's never going to be looked at the way Eden Hazard is because stylistically, the way they play the game, Eden Hazard's always going to draw more plaudits. But in terms of goals and assists, trophies, like what matters? Whether or not it's as nice on the eye, okay. 
Definitely not trophies. No. Definitely not. No. Unless he gets a move. Definitely not. What, you know, because Eden Hazard won how many Premier League? Two Premier Leagues. Two, yeah. Yeah. Saka will win two Premier Leagues. You don't think Saka's going to win two Premier Leagues in his career? Oh, City he probably will, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Arsenal win well, two Well, Premier regardless League. of where he wins them. Yeah, okay. The, the, the clock... I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's like, if you can't see how much of a waste of time those people are, how uncharismatic those people are, if you can't see how uninspiring that content is, right? yet those people are reaping all the rewards from producing such content. And if you don't think you can do it, then fine, you can't. But if in your heart of hearts, you understand that it's your destiny to do something great in the world, that it's your destiny to make a lot of money, to fuck a lot of hot girls in this world, that you're going to have to do something great. And the only thing that's left in today's society is for you to make a name for yourself online. Okay, you have to go online, right? Because your online is the new what is the new country that we all live in, right? We might live here on Earth, in our each in our, our own countries, but we exist online. So you know that's why they're creating the metaverse because you're gonna be plugged online. And if you don't have a following, if you have no relevance, you won't be seen online. Okay, so you have to make yourself relevant. If you understand all this, if you want help building your kingdom, if you want to become a king, then uh, send a message to me on Royal Instinct, and you can work with me. Uh, until next time, that is it. Take care.